thanks for stopping by my big front yard. And, uh, well, normally it's the big backyard. So Jay here, it's a smaller take on the standard Yuko candle lantern. This is a great little lamp. It gives off the same amount of light as regular Yuko. Uh, I would say it's uh, very similar to the budget ones. I find this a bit more solid, although when I got this one, the top is all messed up and even the metal part was pushed mm -hmm. in. Don't know what's up with that. And this happens whether I'm getting something that's a uh, across the ocean budget brand or I think this is US. I'm not sure where the Yuko candle is actually made, but this is a mini. So here's what comes in the bag. I just stuffed the bag inside the box for a Yuko mini candle lantern. So I mean, I thought I'll correct that. Uh, you're going to get a bag. Wonderful. Three of these uh, tea lights, which you can get at the dollar store, so nothing magical, but it saves you a trip. Uh, it's worth like 30, 40 cents Canadian. Not sure. Actually, I can just leave them right there. Okay, and then we've got the mini lantern. So it's about the same size as the full size you throw when it's packed down. And then you'll need to pack it down. And you can be able to use the standard candles. Um, instead of those more expensive, I think highly overpriced Yuko only candles, I think uh, that was a fail for me in that they had their own proprietary candle. And yeah, you can make a mold and that's fine. I probably will because I really like those lanterns and I'm going to want to get a candelier and that a go and compare that. Uh, See if they even can put it on top. I've seen lots of videos do that. They say that these things put out about 1800 uh, or 1900 BTU. I don't have a way to measure that. Um, I find I use one candle in a tent when it's cold and it really does take out the condensation, but I'm only burning it for 20 minutes or so, maybe half an hour when I wake up, and it takes the edge off. I'm only in uh, a two person or a three person tent um, in there with my little guy or I'm by myself. Typically, we don't even need that. It's just kind of a luxury item. And I like kind of the look, the mood, the feel of uh, candle lantern. So we're going to have a look from a different angle. I'm going to pull it apart so we can see it. And uh, this did just come out of the bag, but I had the shot kind of weird. So uh, straight from Amazon. And as always, with all of my candle lanterns, the end here was open when I got it, even though it was sealed in the Amazon bag. It's like this is triggering things for customs. I'm not sure what they're thinking it is. Maybe it's the metal inside. Uh, so they're inspecting it because it's a weird shape and they don't know, is my guess, because every candle lantern I've ever ordered has come from somewhere outside of Canada and it's been opened. So let's have another look from a different direction. I'm just going to untwist this. Hopefully you can see that. A little of my backyard wildlife, some kind of butterfly or moth coming along. Oh, look at that. So I thought you only got three candles, which is uh, weirdly exciting for me. Um, but that one sitting right in here. And some kind of a sticker to hold it there, I guess, to show that it's fresh and new. Let's pop that in the box. Um, so, uh, just a little plastic holder. And uh, I don't even really know if that's for airflow. You do want to get the candles with the foil bottom. And some people will pull these off. Don't do that. Um, this will just contain the wax while you're melting it and not make a mess. I did that on one of the uh, budget candles that I had. I'm like, oh, what's this foil for? Because I didn't really know. And I didn't really attention to what other people were saying about it and it melted all over and came out the, the air holes and kind of plugged it up and made a mess so we had to uh, clean up the candle which is a pain in the butt now sliding this back in i think you just got some little tines here to kind of clip that onto the candle so just push one corner in it's kind of a loose fit in there i'm finding unless i'm kind of doing a user error thing here i don't think so i'll push it that way a bit of a loose fit. I don't think you're really snapping it right down. It's just stopping it from sliding around when you're carrying it. Um, looks like there's a little kind of a piece of metal. I'm not sure if you can see that in there when I'm holding that. And that's going to hold the glass in so it doesn't slide all around. The top here looks identical to uh, what you're going to see. It's just out of place there in this one. In the... Uh, so yeah, when that got open, something mashed the top. Same as the full-size uh, standard Yuko, looks like. I'm just going to pull this one up right. It really did get mashed in there. So these come off, and uh, pretty easy to clip back in. So we'll clip that back in. A uh, bit of a shield for wind, and uh, they get really hot. So don't touch that when your candle's lit, even after a few seconds. 
So we've got the, the glass can slide at the top. That's probably the easy way to do that. If you got some wax on here and you want to get that off, I'd uh, put that in some water and bring it up to uh, temperature till the wax melts off and kind of floats in the water. And then take your glass out. You could scrape it off too, depending on how good it got. If somebody has a better way of cleaning the wax off, let me know. That's worked for me. Uh, I always like checking out other people's videos on these guys. I'm going to pack it up so we can see what the whole thing looks like in the bag. Super exciting. And I guess you could be tucking away other candles inside if you wanted to make that even more compact. Just drop them in. Put them way you like. You can probably get a small mini bic and uh, one of those in there, but uh, just throw the mini bic inside the baggie here if you want. I like to keep some kind of lighting source with anything that I am um, using that needs one, even if I'm carrying around uh, another lighter or a ferro rod or whatever else. So there it is. Super exciting in the sack. Packs down pretty small and you got at least a weekend worth of uh, light there. See if I can light this and put it together. I'll, I'll one hand it in the dark. See the blue flame? Get a little yellow. Get the candle going. And this is the raging, roaring Yuko Mini. Let's see if we can do this one handed. I don't know if I can. I want to twist it on enough so I can pick it up and not have a candle uh, come falling apart on me. So we'll flip that around to the front in a second. Let's say inside of a tent or just sitting around at a camp table. One or two of these is great. Yeah, I will do another video comparing the two budget candles I have against this and as well the standard Yuko. And I might as well do a Yuko. And if I get enough people watching and interested, I'll even go and get a candelier and compare that. I've also been looking at two other lanterns. I don't know. Kind of a fun thing. 